Good morning, everybody. Welcome in from Canada. I hope you're doing well. Yours truly is tired today because I was up thinking about Sebastian Rogers and all you wonderful people in the community. So today's pick a card. Just look at the cards. Which one sings to you the most, speaks to you the most? We've got the first card with the owl on the top, the second card with the tree of life on the top, and the third card with the hot air balloon. So before I go and turn the cards, I just want you to remember that I'm going to do a case of the day, which will be premiered at one o'clock and we will be going live talking about Sebastian again, because I'll explain to you. I just had, I just, I've just had the awakening. I need it. Okay. First card over infinite possibilities. So the, the owl is asking you, whoever picked pile one, you're not able to see your future endeavors or whatever it is that you're trying to work on. Like somehow you're feeling stuck with what is what it is that you're trying to achieve and what you're trying to work on. And this owl above is literally asking you to step outside of your situation, detach from the emotions and look at and be open. You're not stuck inside the starfish. You're here to shine. You're not... But right now, look at that ball inside. Like you are cooking something up. You are healing from something. Something is in the works and you will get out of it and you will shine. But you're not right now open to the possibilities. So the, the, the suggestion is actually the owl to step outside and look at it from a 30, 160 point view. Look at it from above. Detach from the emotion because there are off, there are infinite possibilities awaiting you for your future for what you feel stuck with so depending on how this resonates with you whether it's finances relationship career whatever it is social life health you're feeling stuck but there are ways out of this and it's for you to detach from the emotion and look at how there's opportunities there's a, many opportunities for you to get out of this situation you're feeling stuck in and the start is also about rising up and being seen so I think for some of you, it might mean like being afraid to be out there publicly, afraid to do things, but you can achieve this. You can get this done. The, detach emotionally, look at it from above. The owl is wise and detaches and looks at things from an unemotional state. Second card, skunk spirit, and it's in reverse. Know your worth, tree of life, get grounded. <clears throat> tree of life is in, <clears throat> is in, the Ten of Pentacles card. And it talks about the wisdom and that's why it's a legacy card. The Ten of Pentacles card is not just about all the material things in your life. It's the spiritual journey you had to go through to get to the legacy, to hit the stride of what you're going to get to eventually. But right now it's like you're devaluing your worth. You're not at your Ten of Pentacles yet where you've got your legacy and all the finances and everything uh, set in stone yet because you're giving away your power. You don't know your worth yet. You're you're not tapping into what you're really worth. And in the spiritual community, there is a lot of this feeling of money is evil. Money is not evil. It's what we choose to do with it. When you have an abundance of money, you can actually contribute to others, start charities, donate, do all kinds of wonderful work that couldn't be done without money, helping people in Africa get clean water, whatever your choice, helping the homeless, helping pets, so raise awareness to you know, the puppy mills, whatever, the environment, whatever you choose to do with it. But right now you have to know that you are worth receiving the abundance, that you are worth getting paid what you deserve. So it's time to release this not knowing your worth. Today, focus on that, please. This one's also upside down, and there's a hot air balloon, and upside down means give with gratitude and grace. Okay, so hot air balloon, I mean, please don't take offense to this, but I feel like <clears throat> you're, you're kind of high up in the sky about some achievement that you've done uh, or something that you've done, and, and Spirit's asking you to get back grounded that you can't it's the whole point of giving is not expecting anything in return. Um, that's the gift of giving. And so I feel like whatever it is that you've, you've done or you're working on or how you've tr contributed to help others, you're feeling a little bit resentful. You're feeling like 
you are maybe higher than them, better than them because you are in a position to give or you gave, or it could be that you're not willing to receive with gratitude. So you, how, however this resonates with you, you're being asked to give with unconditional love, give money without expectation of anything being in return to you, return to you rather. That the art of giving with grace is about not expecting anything return in return. And that's what makes giving your love, your time, your money, your resources so wonderfully beautiful is when you do it from the heart with love. It doesn't make you better than anybody else. It doesn't make, because you're in a position to give, you have to want to give with grace without any expectations of anything coming back to you. I hope this was helpful today. Love and light. We'll see you from the for the premiere for the new case, the Lady Bird Lake case over the serial killer potential, uh, potential serial killers potentially in Austin, Texas. And yes, I'm getting, I'm creating a list of all these cases you all keep sending me, and it's it's hard to keep up with all the comments and emails. But I'm doing the best I can to keep up. And of course, so what the new format's going to be is the card pick of the day in the morning, the premiere for the case of the day at one and the live at four and you are going back to Sebastian I had my moment yesterday I said I wouldn't make any decisions and then I listened to a reader who I follow whom I followed for very many years and it's wild how she talks about um me stepping away from something and not realizing the value that I brought to a community and a bunch of people in the community want me to come back because it's time to, to shed light in the darkness. So it's a pretty wild, extremely relevant reading. So at 4 p.m., we are going back on board with Sebastian Rogers. Um, so love and light to you. We'll see you at one and at four and Wednesday tomorrow, today's Tuesday, tomorrow at 1 p.m. Uh, will there be a premiere launched? Yes, but there will also be a members only live at one as we work on the case that we started yesterday on Monday. So the members, we will see you Wednesday at 1. Love and light, everybody. Cheers. Have a great day. And see you at 4 p.m. live for Sebastian Rogers.